it's always important to make sure that a safety stock level makes sense. And in this demonstration, I'm going to focus on three key things. First of all, how to determine how much coverage that safety stock is actually providing. Second, some tips on how to set a safety stock that is meaningful and drives value. And third, what kind of care and feeding is required to ensure that that safety stock is set to remain as a positive contributor to the well-performing inventory levels that your organization is looking for? Let's talk safety stock values in SAP. Okay, here we are, and we are in MD04, which is the stock requirements list, looking at this particular material. This is a raw material that is serving production for this particular finished good. Raw materials may supply many, many different finished goods. In this case, to keep it simple, it just is supplying one. And we can see that we have some ongoing demand, in this case, going out through the end of the year. And we have a safety stock set of 2,400 pieces and a current quantity available of 2,560. So what are some things that we want to consider when we think about safety stock? One of the things that we want to think about is lead time. So before we go anywhere else, let's just check that out. And what I'm going to do is go in here and I'm just going to display material. I could also just double click on it or I could use the drop downs at the top. But for ease of use, let's go over here and let's talk about lead time. 